Hi, it's Tom Tool here with Remax Mainline. Want to give you a couple tips if you're in a position where you have to consider a short sale. There's a lot of people right now and a lot of homeowners that are underwater and can't keep up with payments and they really have to look at their options to see whether it's better off letting the bank take the property or, or trying to complete a short sale. Um, here's five quick tips that are going to help you make that process a lot easier than what it could be if you don't take a, an experienced agent's advice. And that brings me to tip number one. Find a realtor that is experienced in short sales. Certifications are great. There's a number of them out there, such as the uh, Short Sale and Foreclosure Resource, SFR, or Certified Distressed Property Expert. The bottom line is what they teach you in a class is not going to be applicable to what happens when you actually have to take a short sale through closing through to closing. It takes anywhere from two, three months up to nine months to negotiate with the bank, get them to, to clear any deficiency judgments, and allow them to release the lien for someone to purchase the property. So if you don't have an experienced agent who knows what to do and knows how to talk to the bank and get them the information they need, you're going to be in some trouble. Ask any agent you interview how many short sales they have taken the closing in the past 12 months, and that'll give you some great information to see if they're the right agent for the job of selling your home if you're thinking about a short sale. Uh, tip number two, you really need to understand the consequences of a short sale after the home settles and you move on. State laws vary. Talk to an attorney about this. Uh, sometimes lenders can go after the loan balance once you've already settled and sold the home. So without knowing what those consequences are going to be, it really is it's very difficult to make the right decision if a short sale is the best route for you to go. Tip number three, you can negotiate your way out of deficiency. This is something a lot of people don't tell their clients. You can negotiate with these banks. Oftentimes what happens is a deficiency judgment will get filed against a, a homeowner who goes through with a short sale. What that means is that the bank can file a lien against you for the difference between the original amount that was borrowed and owed on the property and what the bank actually received. Don't let this stop you. You can negotiate your way out of the deficiency and I've seen myself personally a bank, major lender, absolve any future judgments against the homeowner who completes the short sale. So keep that in mind when you're looking at your options. Tip number four, talk to an attorney. I'm a realtor. I'm not, I'm not a lawyer, and I can give you great advice about how to get the home sold, how the process works, and what the key ingredients are to getting a short sale to the settlement table. But what I can't do is give you legal advice and give you tax advice and negotiate on your behalf with the bank to get you out of the deal. Attorneys can do that. I know a lot of great attorneys out there that have done that for some of my past clients, and if you need a referral, I can absolutely put them in touch with you. And, and the last tip I have for you here, and this one's really key, a lot of people ignore this when they're in a short sale situation. Keep up with your association payments. The homeowners association will file a lien against you if you don't keep up your monthly, your monthly dues. That lien will stop the home from being able to settle and transfer to a buyer, even if you have lender approval. Pennsylvania state law requires that a seller conveys what's called a good and marketable title to the new buyer. That means there's no liens on the property and the buyer's interest is protected against the entire world. So, with that in mind, make sure you keep up on those payments even if you're not paying your mortgage. If you have any other questions about short sales, about the market, about what's happening right now, please give me a call. Again, it's Tom Tool with Remax Mainline and I'm here and ready to serve whenever you need me. Have a great day.